so far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 42.8. My fucking internet went down. All personnel be aware. Car leaving. Can you still hear me? Yep. Okay. I have a feeling it might happen again. When it does this, it does it a couple of times. Let's see if I can rejoin back. I'm just doing some quick laps. I'm We've only got two laps nine. of fuel left. Yeah, I'm not gonna have time to get back and uh, do another lap. Yeah, I might not have time to do a lap at all if it doesn't connect. <laughs> it's essentially, it's six, six fucking six minutes. I get back in at three. Okay, there we go. I'm back in at Jesus. Yeah, shit. Uh, good thing I got a good banker lap in. That's all I gotta say, because I ain't got time for another lap. I'm just gonna coast. <sighs> I'm only gonna have one try at it, so I might as well go towards the end of the session. I don't want to fuel up the car for two, that was my like idea right now. Fuel it up for two laps and just go for it. Good yeah, work. see by the time I get back into the pits I'm gonna be at three. And that's gonna be enough time for me to really get out. I'll be cutting it too quick. Actually with comfort. three minutes I think you might just yeah, but I have to squeak out with two, and then if I have to get out of anyone's way, I'm, I'm just going to come into the pits. Yep. i got a good banker lap. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with that. Oh, shit. <sighs> this fucking game and my internet. Oh, so much fun. Ford went P2. Tito on an outlap. T Brum on a heater. Palmer on his inlap. Sir Vapor on a hot lap. Might watch him.
Vapor might be on a pretty good lap here. Well, that'd be it, because this will be it for him for qualifying. That's going to be solid. Oh, that bastard! Pressure's on now. Oh, Tebow, what's Tebow got? Hey, slings it through the final chicane. Oh, this is gonna be pole. Yeah, that's pole. Yep. Engine fired, we're set. Oh no, damn it. Oh, what a good lap. Fuck. That's funny. And I'm 
I'm gonna be 11. Yay! Ah, fuck me. Half a second up on my time. Ayo! That was a good one. That was one of my better qualifying laps. I fucked up through two on. Touched the inside curb. And went for a spinny spin. So yeah. I'll be 11th, unfortunately. One of my better qualifying laps. Camden, good job. There's nothing I can do about that, I don't think. starting 11th <laughs> yeah I don't know if the alternate strategy would be worth it or not it's one of those things you know get an early safety car go into the mediums and take them to the end yep I don't know but with only 13 people in the race and 13 people who generally know what they're doing my suggested is just soft to mediums Apparently that's quicker. If we pick earlier. Yeah, no. <sighs> we do need extra fuel on this one. Huh? We do need a bit of extra fuel on this one. I went point eight over. Point eight. That seems okay. Safe-ish, hopefully. Okay. That's in the one VSC. You're definitely in the clear. Not if it's green the whole way. Mm -hmm. You're probably good, but nah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Let's see what we can get out of this Okay, one. go through all the gears if you uh, can. We need to make sure the engagement is okay before the, the start. Time. We're going to want to put some temperature into the tires and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool though, so don't go too high with the revs. Yeah, really wow, I'm starting Jeff behind was... Omega. Jeff this is, is what I down. get. Jeff this is what I get for uh, trash talking Omega and qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you yeah. think you're so good? Fuck are you! Start at the back! I will say it's nice to be starting ahead of Tebow, but... Conditions mm, look stable at the moment. The no rain currently expected. Apparently I'm on brand new softs. That's good. That is good. Because I went for a major spin in the last <laughs> sector of my qualifying on the previous set, so they would have been cooked. Oh, I guess that's because I'm on P11. What, you thought you were getting the, the, some special treatment there? 
Yeah. FIA had pity on you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, tires. I got a temperature quickly. Oh yeah. Said the softs are sketchy of the setup. I feel like, and maybe it, maybe it's the same way for everybody. Obviously, I have no idea, but I'll say the car feels pretty good in mediums, mm -hmm. which is going to be the majority of the race. So, Hopefully, we'll have a good one. <clears throat> the rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. I think it was Monkey. Lost it up into Eau Rouge or Radion. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Oh, 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 that was close. Jesus Christ. Woo! Scary. Green flag.
DRS is now enabled. The teammate behind is 4.5 seconds. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tyre grip around now. already. Yep, same. But the setup is really nice.
I'm gonna be boxing this lap. Okay. Continue on for right, now. coming at the end of this lap. There's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. I Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there I think are I lost no a bunch of time there because I could not right see the, uh, the pit There's limiter. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Exit. Exit now. Apparently, there's an incident. Yeah, Chi Bar retired. Right. I couldn't see. I couldn't see the pit limiter because the Chi Bar retired message was in, was in my face. Okay, you only have to stop once now. One stop left. I still got Tebow right in my ass, fuck me. That's DRA, yep, Tebow's got me. What a fucking joke. He's already got a second on me, Jesus. He just played me like a fucking fiddle, Jesus. Oh shit, these tires. Okay, I'm going into the pits now. Lost a second on this lap, holy. Hopefully no one else jumps. I mean, they shouldn't, but, you know. <clears throat> the gap to the car ahead is 7.8 seconds. Now when we're under attack from Sir Vapor. So just what you love to see. Damn it, that did not work and out. I lost all. about half a second to Formula Jonah in the pits, but I should be alright. Sitting up, dude. Fuck. All right, 
Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Come on. I not get DRS? What the fuck? You've lost some time to the car behind. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, I got DRS, thank God. I have no battery though. Vapor. Oh. They're both a little wild sometimes. They're fast. No denying that. And they do tend to get a little bit spicy sometimes. Check your MFD for a new strategy option.
happened, dude. Shit. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. We're leading our teammate by 8.1 seconds. Okay, clear. We've been awarded a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Push now, we're boxing this lap.
Okay, good work. Great pass. There's five laps of fuel remaining. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. There's four laps of fuel remaining.
We have two laps of fuel remaining. Gap to teammate behind is 26.0 seconds. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Less than a lap of fuel now, the tank is empty. What can you do? Oh man, that was... Good stuff. Jesus. Dude, wait, did you finish? Did you actually finish? Yes, yes, I did. Okay. That yes, sucks. I managed to rejoin twice. <laughs> and and Dude, continue on with Well, the you race. would finish, what, fifth, probably? Fifth or sixth? 
I was seven. Where 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 would you have finished? Uh, probably the same. Okay. Well, we only lost I one. I managed to rejoin Why pretty you quickly. You had the fastest lap. We we only lost one point. So again, dude, Tebow played me like a fucking fiddle there, and then I, I got a three second time penalty. <coughs> And I had Why? What did he do? Basically, he pitted with me, got in the DRS out of the pit road, blasted past me, like right after we made our pit stop, and then I just had a bad second in the second corner, and he pulled a second on me right off the bat. But man, I was, I was come up toward those last like six or seven laps, I was doing really good. Mm -hmm. It just sucks, I had a three second time penalty. Vapor picked up six, Jesus, he shot himself in the foot, what else is new? But that, oh, I, I had a perfect well, last I'll lap. Take it. I had a perfect last lap in order to get that gap over uh, Camden. Absolutely perfect last lap. Well, I'll take it with all my internet trouble tonight. Yeah, it just... I mean, the constructor stays the same. I don't, we just need Tebow to crash or something. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah. See, my just been. Honestly, I felt really good. I like I had the pace advantage over Camden, both Camden and Survapor, I believe, on that second stint. It's just that DRS, it was hard to get away from people. Maybe even Tebow, but just by the time I got in position to do anything, they were gone. If that makes sense. But mm -hmm. anyway. Or he was gone. Yeah, I kind of got stuck before. Be, I mean, behind uh, Formula Jonah and Tebram, because Tebram was glitching all over the place, so cars were really, really careful, kind of overtaking him. That's interesting. And then because he, yeah, go and I think there was some sort of like an in incident or something, but he managed to like get ahead. Um, and then I got fucking stuck behind Dude. Formula Jonah. I was just trying to get around. Him. Honestly, I was kind of just. Tagging Camden's DRS because I was struggling because I had, you know, I had Ford and Survapor all over me. Uh -huh. But then I got the three second time penalty and I was able to. I think Camden started struggling as soon as that happened. And man, oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I had pace on Tebow at the end or not. If he was just phoning it in, it was, he's probably just phoning it in. If I'm being honest, but. Oh man. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll yeah, I mean. It. I think, I am not 100% sure, but I think I'll be around next next uh, week. Okay. Yeah, but I but I won't I won't I won't be around Wednesday or Thursday, so no comms for me next week either. Um, and this week, also, right? Yeah, I'll, I might try to reserve in platinum on Thursday. We'll see how it goes. Okay. No assists, but I mean, I have three top five finishes and four golden starts, so. I think they let me in if there's spots available. Yep. Alright, are we getting... There, there's the invite. Alright. Well, all that's right, a bummer, dude. man. Good drive. It's alright, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the next one, but great drive tonight.
at the finish. Um, I really wasn't expecting there to be uh, no VSCs or safety cars. I think that's the first time all season that we've done that, uh, which is awesome to have clean racing. Um, but yeah, uh, congrats to Tebow on the race and the championship. Uh, well deserved. Uh, there was a good battle with Charles and Sir Vapor. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've been in here all season in the podium interview. So oh, that was yeah. my goal for the race, and uh, I accomplished it. I thought well, we we had you. I got you on a podium in Singapore, but was that post race advancement? Maybe. Yeah, I finished P four, but Vapor ah, ended up getting a penalty. You're right, because I I, uh, I snitched on him on the pit entrance. You're right. So well, welcome to the <laughs> uh, round eleven. I mean, you know, you didn't have to wait till the finale, but you know, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we all, better we late all... than never. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um. What are the, uh, now they got the podium uh, on track, uh, you know, any other goals for the remaining three? Uh, personal goals, any, uh, what, are you, what are you looking for in these next three? Um, I would really like to win a race. I don't know if my pace is there yet to match Tebow's or Charles's, but um, I'm feeling confident after the last couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, I'm not really fighting for the championship, so I can take some risks, you know. Uh, well, not try now. Tebow some... got it, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can just, you know, say that I had a great race today and just carry that confidence into next week and the week after and the week after. Awesome. Uh, D'Angelo, any uh, questions for Camden? Uh, yeah, man, solid drive. Uh, sucks in the end where you just lost a lot of pace, I felt like. It felt like you did have the race pace, especially in the first stint. But, uh as you do go into these last races, uh, how, how are you going to approach them in the weeks coming for practicing and stuff like that? I'm just going to keep practicing as much as I can. You know, I think I definitely wasn't practicing enough early in the season, which is why my pace wasn't as good. Um, and it's really helped that I've been, you know, getting into lobbies with like Seafreeze and TJ and a bunch of guys. So um, where are we next week? I, <laughs> I don't even know Australia. where we are. Australia. Okay. Well, don't um, say it like that. It's a great track. We're, we're... Well, uh, I'll agree with him a little bit. Um, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's like mid-pack for me, I would say, in my like list of tracks if I were to rank them. So I think I just got to practice my race pace. Um, going you know, like I said, right? I was, I, I, yeah, I was saving fuel, but like my pace on the mediums just was not as good as my pace on the softs. So I think if I just do a little bit of practice on uh, both sets of tires for next week, then I can uh, get a better finishing position. Yeah, solid race from you, and hopefully, hopefully you can get that first win before the end of the season. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, actually, Kim, I got another question. Do you uh, do you speak any Spanish? Uh, ooh, I, I'm trying to think of the word for small. Uh, <laughs> un, un pico? Is that it? I don't know. That, that may be it. Uh, not well. <laughs> All right. What, what about French? Uh, uh, bonjour, Cifres. Uh. Uh. That's all. That's all you're getting from me for French. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thanks. Anyways, I guess we'll go to the McLaren. P two, Sir Charles. Uh, congratulations on the podium. Um, obviously, um, probably not what you want to hear with the with the championship. Although uh, you know it was definitely a great great season uh, by you as well, and uh, another good race uh, managing to get P two. Um, talk us through your race and uh, I guess a little bit of the season so far. Yeah, um, honestly, you know, so far, you know, knock on wood, but this has been definitely my best season. It just kind of sucks that, you know, Tebow's here stinking up the joint, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but no, in all seriousness, uh, you know, he's driven great, and like I said, he's he deserves it, so can't really say anything there about that. And uh, today he played me like a fiddle. There's no no other way to put it. Uh, got the DRS right out of the pits. I kind of made a little mistake, and then really, I just uh, I knew my pace is kind of the opposite of Cannon's. I knew my pace was much better on the mediums than it would be on the softs. So I knew that first stint was just kind of trying to maintain that track position. Unfortunately, it took me a while, a couple of laps to get going in the mediums as well. And that would allow Tebow to kind of get away, and it kind of forced me to use all my ERS to catch Camden. And I just kind of had to sit there for a few laps as I recharged battery and also made sure that, you know, Ford and Survapor stayed behind me, so... 
Um, it is what it is. I mean, it was nice. It was, you forget how tiring um, those, uh, or at least mentally, how tiring mentally those long reflex runs can be. I mean, if, but it's, it, it, I'll, I'll admit it's nice to have a uh, have a race play out in its entirety. But uh, yeah, thankfully in the end, I was able to put together a perfect last lap and get that three seconds in Camden. I mean, that was probably the best lap probably of my season, if I'm being honest. I just hit every apex, every exit, and set a perfect long. So um, yeah, three second time penalty kind of sucked, but it is what it is. I don't think it would, obviously I've still got seconds. So I don't think it would have made a difference in the result. Great. Uh, any questions, D'Angelo, for Sir Charles? Um, not really a question, but uh, as he said, the the season's not totally a wash. You, you and Blinn still challenging Ferrari for constructors as really as a team didn't score too many points because of the Monkey Mafia DNF. So how will you and Blinn approach these last three races trying to clinch the constructors? Yeah, we just, uh, I mean, I... Uh, we just need to make sure we stay out of trouble, and uh, I know Blinn really wants to uh, improve his qualifying. I think his, I mean, his race pace has been fine all year. It's just uh, you know, it's something that he's expressed frustrating over and over and over again. But um, yeah, I think we just I don't know. T Bar hasn't made a mistake all year. Well, aside from Imola, I guess. And uh, we just need him to I don't know hit it hit a curb wrong or something or have a like a deer jump out in front of them. I don't know. We need like <laughs> we need like one of them buffalo wild we need like one of them buffalo wild rings things, you know, a little the overtime button or whatever. You can make it interesting. But uh you know, I mean twenty one points in three races, it's certainly a you know, we can certainly call that back. So um just gotta keep our heads down and stay focused and yeah, uh, as far as we're concerned it's still all to play for. Uh, I have one question for uh, maybe maybe you may know it's more for Blinn but he's not here. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a trend in qualifying because you mentioned he wants to improve the qualifying. I've seen a trend where he's leaving his one and only lap to the final lap of like the last few minutes of qualifying. Is there a reason why he doesn't go out sooner or get in a banker lap in like the first minute or two in qualifying? Yeah, I'm not uh, really sure. Today was not intentional, by the way. He invalidated his first attempt, but I'm um, in spawn in a second. So, today gotcha. wasn't intentional, but um, he usually only does two attempts. I guess he just wants to save a fresh set of solves in case things get kind of dicey at the end. Um, I, again, that's you, I do that depending on the track, too. Like I said, I did it last week at Fort Mile. Um, this week, I mean, I did it this week as well, but again, it was unintentional. I just, um, this is a long track, so I just kind of mismanaged my time there at the end. So, um, But yeah, I think that's just his philosophy. He usually tries to get two laps in, but uh, today it didn't quite work out for him. Nice. Maybe I'll uh, reach out to him, get uh, get that side of the garage up to, up to par. But um, thanks for that insight, and uh, we will move to the season 13 silver class champion uh, Tebow in the Ferrari. Uh, congratulations! I don't know how much we'll be able to uh, go one back and forth with each other, but um, initial thoughts from the race and your season. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. But uh, it's possible to invite uh, a friend for the traduction. He speak English and French. Oh yeah, it's let's do it. Yes, let's... it's possible. Yes, oh, give absolutely. me two seconds. Yeah, it's okay, oh, and this is better for me. <laughs> oh look at this! This would be wonderful. Dani, Dani. Hello, hello. So, he's here. Yeah, welcome to TZR in the, in the translator post-race interviews. I love it. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask Tebow um, to reflect on his season and uh, his race here today as well. Um, I want to know, Tebow, I want to know how you found your season to this point and how you found your season today. Donc, ben, euh, j'ai trouvé ma saison, euh, ben déjà un nouveau championnat, un nouveau championnat pour moi, où j'ai trouvé euh, un bon niveau quand même, un bon niveau avec des gars euh, très propres, un championnat euh, très bien structuré, où j'ai vraiment beaucoup de plaisir à rouler dedans. Euh, maintenant, j'ai euh, 
j'ai hâte de pouvoir évoluer dans, dans la catégorie euh, Gold pour pouvoir vraiment euh, progresser avec euh, moins d'aide sans ABS donc euh, de ce côté là ça va être un, un nouveau challenge ça va être vraiment intéressant donc euh, une part de la saison prochaine pour ce qui est de la saison euh, je suis content j'ai réussi à être euh, constant au fur des courses euh, à bien, bien gérer mes courses et euh, pouvoir arriver en fin de championnat et, euh, et gagner le titre ce soir donc euh, vraiment content euh, pour ce qui est de la course euh, sans qualification euh, très belle qualification pour pour Candem avec la pole félicitations à lui mmh. et, euh, et Charles très belle très belle performance il passe devant en fin de qualification donc mon but c'était vraiment de focus sur lui focus sur lui pour euh, pour m'assurer le titre ce soir donc début de course très serré, euh, j'arrivais pas à passer, j'ai tenté deux fois de passer sur, sur Charles mais il a très bien défendu, c'était euh, très propre, c'était chaud mais c'était très propre, donc euh, je voulais tenter l'undercut mais on est rentré en même temps au stand, donc euh, mon but était de, de le doubler juste à la sortie des stands étant donné que j'allais avoir le DRS et il n'avait personne devant lui et, euh, et pouvoir essayer de, de, de passer devant Candem euh, au tour d'après vu qu'il rentrait au stand. Donc on est ressorti plus côte à côte, il m'a redoublé et puis euh, j'ai essayé de faire le forcing pour pouvoir sortir du DH. Et j'ai essayé de creuser un écart et, euh, et trouver un bon rythme de course jusqu'à jusqu la fin. Donc euh, ça a plutôt marché. Donc euh, vraiment content d'être euh, de rouler avec ces gars parce que c'est euh, très propre. Bon, mais ça court comme réponse, c'est bon. Um, I, I, like, I like the best. The one thing I like about Thibault is I asked him to keep it short. So <laughs> it might be a bit, I'll, I'll do my best to translate it as best as I can here, guys. Um, so basically, Thibault is really happy to join a championship where the level um, is a bit higher than what he's used to. Um, find the guys are quick. Um, they're disciplined. There's nothing, there's no crazy drivers uh, trying to take any, anybody off. Um, and basically really like the, the, the feeling and the challenge that's going on in TCR Silver. Uh, regarding the season so far, um, he's been uh, part of a lot of battles, um, big challenges for him as well. Um, the one thing he's really proud of is that he was able to keep his consistency um, throughout the season, throughout every single um, races this year. Uh, concerning the race tonight, um, he had some praise for Sir Charles, um, for the battles he had. He uh, congratulated, um, I can't remember the name for um, the guy who got the pole position tonight. Um, his goal tonight was basically to um, battle hard with Charles and make sure that he could basically um, try to win the championship tonight. Uh, that's why he tried the undercut. Unfortunately, when he got out um, of the pits, of the stands, um, you couldn't really get in front of them as we saw on on your broadcast tonight. Um, but consistency, uh, good management of the ERS helped them uh, take over. So um, in the end, it worked. Um, and congratulated everyone that's on the podium tonight, and he's real happy that um, he was able to win the championship tonight. Very nice and great memory. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> hope you take. I uh, hope you took some notes. <laughs> uh, final question, um, and this one is uh, hopefully simple. <laughs> uh, what is um, what is your plans for next season, season 14? Do you plan on getting the new game and uh, possibly see you in uh, the golden class, uh, taking off the assist? I know we've seen you uh, do a reserve race. Uh, before uh, throughout the season, so uh, I know you're definitely capable uh, to definitely go that next step. Um, donc la question c'est pour la saison prochaine, c'est vraiment de savoir c'est quoi ton plan, est-ce que tu peux acheter F1 2022, est-ce que tu peux avoir monté euh, dans la classe A la Golden, euh, c'est quoi ton plan un peu pour la prochaine saison? Donc euh, ben oui bien évidemment je vais, je vais poursuivre l'aventure sur F1. J'ai euh, très envie de, de continuer avec la, la TCR, comme j'ai dit, c'est un championnat que j'aime beaucoup. Euh, j'ai vraiment apprécié euh, le, le challenge. Et évidemment, oui, j'ai envie de monter de catégorie, justement pour, euh, pour prendre un peu plus en expérience avec des, euh, des gars qui jouent euh, sans l'ABS. C'est pas mon c'est pas mon habitude, donc euh, pour l'instant, pour la fin de saison, je vais rester réserviste. Et euh, pour essayer de prendre un peu plus en expérience, mais euh, j'ai envie d'être dans la gold euh, la saison prochaine justement pour, euh, pour jouer sans ABS et euh, pouvoir progresser. Parfait. Uh, so basically, the plan for next year is, of course, uh, to keep going with TCR. 
He really, really, really likes the championship. Um, and he wants to move up to the Golden Division for, and that reason is to remove more assists because right now he's not, he's, he's going with the EBS on. He wants to turn it off, uh, up the challenge a little bit. He's raced one race, one or two races in the Golden Division. Really liked the challenge. There's some good pace, good drivers there. And, uh, yeah, he just wants to, uh, uh, keep on progressing and be part of, uh, of the TCR Gold and see what he can do there. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much, and uh, you know, congratulations again, and uh, thank you for uh, putting on a nice show and nice season. Uh, D'Angelo, you might have to <laughs> make some room next season. Tebow might be coming up. Uh, it just got a little bit more challenging. <laughs> yeah. I know. I plan on making the promotion. <laughs> <laughs> promotion line. Go. Well, I'll pass, on, I'll pass on the good words, guys. Uh, Tebow, uh, uh, félicitations, belle saison. Euh, on était bien content de suivre toute la saison, du, évidemment de continuer à suivre jusqu'à la fin de la saison, il est bien de le voir en Golden, puis il a dit à son faux descripteur qu'il va peut-être falloir qu'il fasse de la place pour toi. Mais Mais euh, merci, euh, merci à eux, parce que vraiment, euh, j'apprécie, même si je comprends pas trop les lives, je trouve que vraiment les, euh, les lives, les commentateurs font vraiment une belle job, c'est vraiment euh, des lives de qualité. Euh, J'essaye un peu de comprendre, je m'améliore un peu à l'anglais, mais on... Je ne comprends pas tout encore, mais euh, non, vraiment euh, très beau, très beau championnat avec une belle structure. Et, euh, et merci à eux de, de nous faire vivre les lives. Et, euh, et on va finir la saison avec encore un peu plus, un peu plus euh, détendu, on va dire, moins stressé. Et euh, j'ai hâte de progresser à la prochaine dans la catégorie supérieure. So he's taking you guys. Um, he really likes the life, even though he doesn't understand everything you guys are saying. Uh, it shows that you guys have a nice, um, it's well structure. Like even for me, like if you look at Danny Calgary that made the comments in the YouTube live, that's me. Um, oh, all right. and there we go. Yeah. So the way you guys are doing it, it honestly, I've watched, I've watched a lot. Sometimes I didn't say much, but I watch you guys, and I think the same thing Thibaut was saying is that uh, the structure of the championship is really well done. You guys are doing things the right way, and he can't wait to uh, finish the season with the, the stress level being a little lower now, uh, and kind of enjoying a little bit more the races, and looking forward, of course, to uh, going up next season. And thank you guys again for the great work you guys are doing on the uh, on the broadcast. Awesome. Well, that's definitely much appreciated, and uh, definitely uh, very very thank thankful for that so uh, thanks thanks Danny for those uh, those kind words and uh, coming up here on the, right on the spot uh, to save the day it was very well uh, very well indeed well, but, um, welcome guys enjoy the rest of your evening I'm gonna leave you guys and uh, we'll watch you guys next week on Tuesday again awesome sounds like a deal thanks guys merci Danny plaisir. all right so we will uh, Round off the stream here tonight, uh, D'Angelo, any final summary uh, cliff notes uh, for today's race? No, not really. Once again, congratulations to Tebow, Season 13 Silver Class Champion. Also, congratulations to Sir Charles and Camden Luca on the respective podium. Sir Charles, a great challenge for the season. Just couldn't uh, pull it out for the, the rest of the way, but still on to the constructors battle for these last three races. It is Ferrari and McLaren at 21 points separate them as we head to Australia next week, next Tuesday. And there you have it. Golden class tomorrow, platinum class on Thursday. We finish off here at Belgium. Next week we go to Australia for round number 12. Check the details down below for more information on how you can join and join the Discord and uh, get all that fancy schmancy merch and other affiliates also down below. I want to thank everyone for tuning in for your Tuesday night and uh, joining it and sharing it here at TCR. And nonetheless, I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe and follow if you have not done so already. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, check out all the social media at eTrinity Racing uh, to get more information. And uh, other than that, hope everyone has a good night. And we'll see you back here same time, same place tomorrow for the Golden Class. Good night, everybody. <sighs> nice. That was fun. That was cool. Yeah, that was pretty, <laughs> pretty solid. That was cool, yeah.
the first one, the first question, I'm like, oh man, he's going. <laughs>